Hey, it's Kimberly Keller. Welcome to the studio. Paint with me, Kimberly Keller. I am back in the studio today. I drove here without talking to anybody. And I drove, well, I did sing. You see, when I get in the car, I have to sing. Hello from the other side. But I won't teach you how to sing. I won't. I won't teach you how to sing today. Hello from the other side. You like the hair? I thought it added a little element of theater. A little element of theater today. And um, I brought a friend. I brought a lot of friends. I hope I have a lot of friends today. Come here, Sherm. Sherm. Come here, I got a treat. It says, turkey time. Real turkey, banana, and chi. I'm not eating it. Sherman, come here. Do you want some? I brought Sherman, my dog. I rescued him from a shelter. His name is Sherman. They had picked that name. Sometimes we think we should have named him Theodore. So we could call him Teddy. Come here, boy. Come here. Come here. Oh, here he comes. Let's see if he likes this. He says, I'm getting in my bed. And I'm putting that down and looking at it like Mom's trying to kill me. I'm not. Come here, Sherm. Sherman! Yay! Sherman and I have been... Sherman and I have been outside taking pictures in the blue bonnets this morning. If you see them on my regular Facebook page, just the Kimberly Keller one, not the paint with me Kimberly Keller, because there are two people most of the time. Sometimes, sometimes. But today I want to paint Sherman in the blue bonnets. Thank you, Sherman. I love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. My husband has the cleanest ears ever. Ever, because Sherman cleans them all the time. Thank you. Sherman, shout out to Papology today because Papology gives Sherman his little, they call them yak sticks. I think they could have come up with something better. But it's made out of yak milk and it keeps him so entertained. I think they are open. They were the other day because you've got to have food for your dog. I mean, let's let's face it, you just do. We sometimes do paint your pet at uh, the studio, and sometimes we do paint your pet at the uh, Papology. It has cat stuff too, so you know it makes my heart happy because I'm a cat woman at heart. But I have a dog, and um, he gets along with the cats. The cats get along with him. Everybody's happy because that's the way we roll. And I'm so happy that y'all are here. I hope this is going to be able so y'all can see me. Yay, yay. I'm going to turn my camera a little bit so you can see some of these great things that are going on. Look, there is Sherman with the Paint Your Pet Day. There's another Sherman in the back. Aren't they adorable? If you keep turning it a little more, you see some more wonderful things. Ooh, I see the unicorn. I do, I do, I do. So there it is. So, um... I'm looking, I'm looking, yay, yay, I see some people watching, I'm so glad y'all are watching, we're going to paint Sherman today, but we're going to paint him with blue bonnets, mm -hmm. so you can watch this video today and then you can go do it, or you can do it with me while we're doing it. Or, here's a kick, you can watch it now and do it and then redo it again. So you make two, so you make two or three or however many. And you could give these away as gifts. You could, um, you know, do some other things that you want to with them. We could make cards. You could do all kinds of things. I'm going to paint on a canvas, but if you have a piece of paper, if you don't have paint, that's fine. If you don't have paint, um, do it this way and then text me. 512-635-7936. And I'll put supplies out on the back porch. I think next week I'm going to start putting supplies out like canvases and paint and all that stuff. And if you want to 
um, put a little in the tip jar for those supplies. That would be cool. And then watch these videos with me. That would work out great, okay? And uh, so excited. My neighbors are here. Karen's here. Joycelyn's here. Jamie's here. Girls and boys, I'm so excited that y'all are here. We're going to paint Sherman in blue bonnets. Now, I know what you're saying to me. Can I paint my dog? Yes. Yes. Miss Keller, can I paint my cat? Yes. Yes. You can do that too. Miss Keller, can I paint my unicorn favorite toy in the whole wide world or lovey? Yes. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You can do that. You can paint whoever you want to in the blue bonnets. I'm going to paint a dog. But you know, most of the time, the only thing that you need to think about when you're painting something else is you get that same idea in your brain and you let that same idea roll around, but then you modify it. Keyword, modify. Well, I'm going to tell you a secret. We've been modifying everything, haven't we? We are modifying everything. And so today, when you modify your lesson to include a unicorn or a cat or a hippopotamus, should try that again. Hippo, pum, hippum, hippum. No. Here it is. The train comes back in. Pink. Hippopotamus. My daughter used to call it hippopotamus. Took me a while to learn that one. Hippopotamus. Yeah. And my son, he called pockets pox. He wouldn't wear pants if they didn't have pox. I know. Savor these moments, parents. Kids, do your best to make memories with them. Say things. Good heavens. It's what we live for later on, like when we're 50-something and we're thinking about them. All right, here we go. Um, You know, I might have to say something about this wig one more time. I may go to wigs. I'm just saying. I have to wash my hair. I just put on a wig. All right. I'm going to draw today. I have no idea where Sherman is, but the door is locked, and I put a sign on the door that says, UPS man, go next door. They're not there. But UPS man, put it wherever you're supposed to put it because this chick is doing a live painting. So block out the rest of the world. Block it out. Vroom! Block. Turn around. Get yourself ready. I think I've set it up. I'm learning a little bit more now, so... I've set this thing up a little bit better so y'all can see. You can still hear me, but you can see, okay? So this is a canvas, and you can use a piece of paper. I'm going to use a wipe and write, an Expo marker like this, an Expo marker, because when I write on this, before I take the plastic off, you see the plastic still on there? I can use this as my drawing to get going, okay? So I'm going to first talk to you and draw a little bit on my practice. Practice, practice, practice. Practice, practice, practice. So this is practice. So find a little scratch sheet somewhere or something you can wipe off. All right. I got to tell you a secret, Mom, is you can use an Expo marker on a table and then wipe it off. Probably. Okay, so I'm just saying. So I'm going to take the number eight. Make an S and go straight home. Make an S and go straight home. Make an S and go straight home to make the number eight. An eight. Can you all see? And now I'm going to flip it. And I'm going to make more eights all the way up the page. But they're going to get smaller, so they're going to go like this. Watch. Make an S that's laying down and go straight home. Make an S that's laying down and go straight home. Make an S that's laying down and go straight home and get littler. And make an S and go straight home. Hey, what on earth am I drawing? Have you figured it out? If you said blue bonnet, you're right. Woo! Make a stem. 
And at the very top, that blue bonnet right up here, kind of looks like the number three that's been squished together. Squish it. Uh, uh. And then make one more. Uh. Now the only thing we need now are some leaves. Make that sound, you get extra points. Look at those blue bonnets. I love that blue bonnet. Now, a leaf can be a smile and a sad face. A smile and a sad face. And a smile and a sad face. And a smile and a sad face. Okay, fine. Stop saying sad face, Miss Keller. It's not a sad face. We're going to call it a smile and a rainbow. Okay. A smile and a rainbow. There's five of them. If you have the chance, go outside and find a blue bonnet. Now, Jamie, I know that your girls have blue bonnets because I took pictures over there with Sherman. And Elliot Marie came out, too. Oh my goodness. I know. I have them with Lily Grace. I have them with Leonard. Now I have them with Elliot Marie. Go to my Facebook. You'll see them. They're adorable. But go out and get those blue bonnets. And look, most of their leaves have five very close together. That almost looks like a flower. I could paint it yellow and call it a flower. <laughs> Who knew? And I can go rainbow, smile. Rainbow, smile, rainbow, smile, rainbow, smile, rainbow, smile, rainbow, smile to make a leaf on my blue bonnet. I don't know what tune that's to. I'd have to ask someone who's musical. My son-in-law could answer that for me. I have no idea. Um, I just do it. Sherman, by the way, left his little turkey banana and cheese treat so I got to go by Popology. I didn't buy these at Popology. I don't know where I bought them but um, they have all kinds of things there so all right so I've drawn a blue bonnet give us one idea of how to draw a blue bonnet I have people all the time ask me um, Miss Keller we want to come to your art classes but my child only likes to draw so we don't want to paint we just want to draw and I say honey Honey, we all draw in our paint. We draw before we paint. We draw before we watercolor. We draw and we color in and paint in with our colored pencils and our markers. So you see, it's kind of like you got to hold hands and draw and paint and paint and draw because that's what this is so you see don't get caught up in the fact that you can't um do that don't don't worry because that's all like part of the whole art experiment the experience this is love come love with me and let's talk about drawing an animal when I draw an animal, I typically start with the nose, and I kind of find the center of whatever I'm going to paint on. Now, I could turn it this way. This is called a portrait. That's the way this one is done. And Sherman is kind of scooted off to the side. He's actually, I think I took that picture when he was in the truck, and he has a little red suit on. He loves his red suit, because that means he's going, and he loves to go, especially out to the farm wonder if my mom's watching. So far, I don't see her, but that doesn't mean anything. So then I come right here into the center of the part. So I'm going to put the center of his nose. Can y'all see that one up there? I don't know if you can. Let me flip this thing up. Oh, it's my cartoon Sherman. It's my cartoon Sherman and me. Go this way. No, go this way. It's reverse. And Mr. Keller. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So see cartoon or realism cartoon realism which way do you want to draw today you are the artist you get to decide if you make a dog or a cat or a hippopotamus okay 
but I still go to the middle of the nose and I make the letter V do that and then take a rainbow and put it across pretty cute pretty cute some of you have arted with me before that I see that are on this looking in with me and that's cool so you know how we start I take the letter J and I scoop it out and scoop it out or I take a number three and go whoop whoop laying on his back because all drawing is and here's the drawing stuff again all drawing is is you take shapes and numbers and letters and things you already know <gasps> say it with me things you already know and you draw it make sure you're holding your pencil here in this little bed of your hand okay it helps it just makes your fingers feel better one finger up here a thumb down here put it to sleep here it is like a soldier if i say hold it like a soldier if i say put it to sleep you just lay it right down inside there okay soldier bed go to bed all right then let's make two smiles for his eyes now at this point we have no idea if this is a, a llama or a dog well we might know if it's a llama because we'd have to add some more or a hippopotamus we'd have you see we have to change it but for today hang with me on this drawing and do your drawing with me and then in a few minutes you can do your own thing but hang with me for just a few minutes now, up at the top, I'm going to make a rainbow. I scoot it up. Scoot up, make a rainbow, because this is where the ears are going to go. Now, Sherman has a right ear that sticks out. And his other ear kind of hangs down. Do your ears hang down? Or, I don't know how, they go, how that goes, I forgot. Do the wobble to and fro. I don't know. Anyway, so if it's a cat, I do this. If it's a dog, and I know some of you have done it with me, so that means you're just getting better. Doesn't mean you don't have to do it again. That just means you're getting better. That's the way homework goes. Okay. Ooh, I hear Sherman shaking. Shake it. Shake it off. Shake, shake, shake it off. I'm going to get a little fancy with my ear this time. I'm going to go out and come in, and it looks kind of like a triangle. Now, Sherman, Sherman, come here so I can look at you. Do you have an animal that you could get over there to come in and look at you? Sherman's right ear has amazing muscles. It sticks out like this. Isn't that cute? And then look at your animal that you're going to draw. Like if I'm looking at the unicorn or if I'm looking at Sherman, it kind of curves in. It kind of goes... Did you make that sound? I hope so. And then I go. Hey, it's a sheep. Okay, it could be. Doesn't have to be. Could be. And I know what you're saying to me. Miss Keller, my dog is fuzzy. Okay, so when we're going to paint, we're just going to paint fuzz. We're going to paint him fuzzy. But right now, we're not. Okay. Sherman has wild hair because he took a shower last night he got a shower he's clean he was running around at the farm and grass it's really really tall man is supposed to be mowing today i haven't heard from her in a while so we'll check so now i'm going to make the rest of sherman but remember i'm gonna put her in put him in blue bonnets so i'm gonna just kind of go down his side and down his side now sherman has on a collar sherman where are you He's reminding you of parenthesis. It does me. If your dog is a big dog, big dog. Okay. Maybe your dog, did you see that one picture I posted? It was of my friend Jana's dog, and it was just his nose. His nose was like right here in front. And so that's pretty much all you saw. And I love that dog. That was a great one. We should draw that sometime. Maybe we will draw that one on one of our adult slash teen tween things i think that'd be a lovely idea so then i've got sherman and his little legs and i'm going to put three lines here 111 
And Sherman, Sherman! Oh, he's not listening. My children do not always listen. Come here, lovey! Here he comes. And I'm going to put his clothes on. No, I don't like that. That's not right. I might have to put another number right in between there. So I can put his clothes on because this is his collar and his clothes. This is his red clothes and then his little arms stick out through those little holes. Do you see? If you don't want your dog to have clothes on, you don't have to, but if you want him to have clothes on, you can. And this is all going to be blue bonnets. And this could be sky. This could be trees, whatever you want back there. Isn't that marvelous? Now, I think we're ready. We have drawn. We cannot paint on this because it is plastic. We have to take the plastic off. So we're getting ready to move on down the road. I try to make these about an hour. Try to hang with me if you can. At art camps, I know we go and take a break and, take, and have ice cream. Uh, we're not going to take that break today, but if you rewatch this, you could stop it at the little um, button down at the bottom and just go boop, and it will stop. Now, I am set here. You can use a watercolor pencil to draw with because it would go back into the paint. If you don't have that, you could use a regular pencil or a marker. If you use a Sharpie, it will show up but it's going to show through your paint. So I don't want to use that. You could use a piece of chalk. That is my preference, is to use chalk. And then use your um, paintbrush. You have chalk if you don't have chalk. Run and get a piece. If you don't do it with what you got, you know, do make, make a modification. Just modify it. Say it with me. Modify it. Modify it it modify it all right and so I and then that's your eraser this is your eraser okay so I'm gonna go back to the beginning I'm gonna do it again this time we don't have to wait quite as long I bet you remember the steps see if you can remember what comes next did you say rainbow then you were right did you say eyes then you were right did you make a number three down here for his lips? Then you were right. Now, I'm not drawing him too big because I want to really focus on the blue bonnets too because that's going to be fun. We got to draw those blue bonnets. And when you draw, we, when you draw with a paintbrush, it's much more exciting. Now, I did a rainbow. Scoot up. Scoot up. Scoot up. Like cover up the face maybe with your hand. And up here at the top, see how that works? Cover it up with about right there where your hand is. And that's where your rainbow goes for his um, head. Now, that ear looks like a triangle. Meow. Out. Down. I'm going to come on down because how long is your dog's ears or your cat's ears? And back up. And then over here, wah, 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 wah. Pretty cute, huh? Can y'all see that? I hope you can see that. Should I get it closer? Is that better? All right, ready? Everybody look. One, two, three, eyes on me. One, two, eyes on you. Do you know who said that? I knew it. I knew, Orangey, Orangey, I'm so glad to see you, we're family so we can kiss, I have missed you, Orangey, are you here to watch, oh, he's waving, he's waving at you, he's so glad to see you too, hooray, 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 so Orangey, I heard you when I said one, two, I, no, how does it go? Oh, that's it. That's it. I forgot. I forgot. Orangey used to hang out with me when I taught kindergarten. 
a long time ago, and then he hang out with me when I taught high school, because, you know, the only thing different between a high schooler and a kindergartner is the size of their clothes. Am I right? Yep, that's true. And I say, um, now I forgot the words again. Orangey, you're going to have to help me because Miss Beth's not here to figure it out. Oh, thank you. Tap on my brain. One, two, eyes on you is your part. One, two, three, eyes on me. Right here. One, two, three, eyes on me. One, two, eyes on you. One, two, eyes on you. Very good. That's exactly it. Thank you very much. All right, so Orangey, hang out with me. Orangey's going to be right here and work with me. And Orangey, uh, we got to make the face. Do you want to make the face, Orangey? He does. So he's going to put it in his hand. Remember how I told you how to put them in your hand? If you put it in like this and you put it in bed. Well, my chalk is too short to do that. Orangey's hands are about that size. And go down and scoop back up. There's your face. Okay? Now, body, part of the way, part of the way, make 100. No, we were going to make 1,000. 111 so we could put Sherman in his little red suit now we're going to make a rainbow and a rainbow those are his legs and we come across here and across here and across here so that it looks like his arms are sticking through those holes in his little clothes remember what he looked like earlier I'll find him He's watching for the UPS man, but I put the sign up this time that says, no UPS man. I know, no UPS man, go next door. Except they're not there either. There's nobody there except you and me. All right, now let's discuss the background. I cannot up here put a blue bonnet in. Well, I can, but it's not gonna be nearly as effective because my sky is blue. My background is blue. So I don't want to put blue here because I'm going to put those blue bonnets that I went and saw this morning. So I'm getting my plate. If you don't have um, paint, use your markers. But we're going to deal with the background. It's called the negative space. Negative space. I don't care how old you are, it's called the negative space. If you are 81 years old, if you are 81 years old, it's called negative space. If you are five years old, it's called negative space. I don't care how old you are, it's called negative space. Deal with it. Deal with your negative space. Now, I've got a brush. It's kind of old, but that, that's all right. Old things are important. Someone should tell someone that. I did. I wrote a letter. Anyway, I digress. Let's paint the background green. Now, I got to going up here with this green, and I went, Whoa, dude, I'm going to put green down at the bottom. I'm going to put green down at the bottom. I can't put green up here because, you know, he's sitting in the blue bonnets, and I'm standing up, so I took a picture. I can't put green grass down here if it's green. How am I going to do this? Well, I'm going to paint on top. I'm just going to paint on top of my green. Now, if you're fancy, and fancy happens, get yourself a little yellow and squirt out a little yellow. And then, same brush, didn't wash it, scoop it up, come down here, and let's put this down here below. Look, that green just gets bolder and brighter. So you've got this brighter, bolder, yellowish color down here at the bottom. So see the difference, the two? This is called blending. Some people do it with their hair, ombre. Some people just put on wigs. Yep. I know you're not looking at me right now. You're painting or drawing or coloring in that background. That's what you need to be doing. 
So do that part. Get it on there. If you need a smaller brush because your brush is too big, big brushes do big parts. Little brushes do littler parts. I really like that glow going on right there. I've got some yellow over here. If you accidentally get somewhere, your dog over the ear, you paint over the ear, don't worry, paint forgives. We solve that problem just by letting it go. Let it go, let it go. I can't remember, I think it was Laura Bull this morning that said, if I hear the song about let it go by my children one more time. Hang in there, mamas. I know you were not maybe born to be a teacher, but you're having to teach. I can only imagine. Because if I had to do some of y'all's jobs, I would just be going, are you kidding me? Reach out to people. They'll help you. Reach out to me. I'll help you. I have nothing to do except clean house. And I'll tell you today, that is not on my list. Sherman, what are you eating? Oh, my Lord. Look at me. Put that down. Sherman. What is that? Y'all hold on. Sherman has got something that was on the floor. Finish up while I run and check on Sherman. Oh, Sherman. Man, man, I need you. I gotta get out of this little thing. All right, here we are. Sherman, I cannot take you anywhere. Sherman. Sherman Keller, put that down. Oh my goodness. What do you have? Come back here. Oh, Lord, it's a paintbrush and a spongy doohickey. Sherman, really? Really? Dude. Well, this will teach you to pick things up off the floor, won't it? Hey, did you paint all the way around? Good job. Something happens when you do Facebook Live. Sometimes you have to just deal with it, right? You have to modify. Say it with me. Modify. Modify. That's what we're doing. We're modifying. Now, if you still have some paint, and I realize some of you are on like a budget with paint, I get it. But for me, I mean, when I was in college, my uh, pieces don't have the edges painted because I didn't paint them on the edge. Number one, I thought maybe someday I'd frame it, and you can frame it. That would be fine, but I also think I thought it might be wasting paint. But when I hang them up, they just look better. And you're gonna hang this up, let's face it. This is, you're gonna hang this up. So I paint my edges. Do you see how I'm painting my edges? And I just get enough paint, scoop it up like it's your best ice cream ever, and scoop right along there and paint all four edges Get all those little peekaboos. Peekaboos are when you see the paint showing through. You could put a second coat on. Um, if I were painting this in the studio for myself, I would probably would. I would put on a second coat. You go ahead and put a second coat on. That doesn't mean go find your coat and put it on. That means do another layer of paint. Layers of paint are very important. Oh, Lord. I got to wash my hands. No, I don't, really. Not yet. I mean, if you're with people, wash your hands. But this is what happens. You see, you can see this right here. But those germs, you can't see them. So you got to wash them off. So I'm just saying, in a little while, where's my water? In a little while, you need to wash your hands. Don't touch your face. All kinds of rules. There's some water. That was my watercolor. I did some watercolor lessons. If you go to my YouTube or you go to my Facebook, you'll see those other lessons that I've done. I don't even know what number this is anymore. Um, we're going to wash this brush. I go to my water, my water cup, and I need to hear this sound. Go to the bottom. Wash it, wash it, wash it, wash it, wash it, wash it, wash it. If you don't get the paint out of these bristles and you don't have a best friend who will wash them for you, then they will dry up and they will get hard with acrylic paint. Acrylic paint is a forever paint, so you need to be sure that you're wearing um, old clothes or you need to be wearing an apron. 
All right, so I've got it pretty cute. I'm going to slip on down now, and I'm going to paint Sherman's clothes. Now, Sherman has on a red jacket. I'm going to use red. That doesn't look red. That says crimson on the bottle. What does this say? This says multi-surface. Oh, by the way, if y'all just want to know, this is the stuff. Well, I really don't like, okay, I'm not going to say it. I like multi-surface paint. There are some paints that cost more that are multi-surface that cover better. They have more pigment in the vehicle. More pigment in the vehicle. Sounds like I'm saying pigs, but I'm not. Pigment is the concentrated color in the vehicle. The vehicle for us today is um, probably some different kinds of chemicals that uh, are in the paint. I'd have to look it up. Google it. Oh my Lord. Google it. I am painting Sherman's clothes. I am using a smaller brush and I am painting Sherman's clothes. And when I paint his clothes, I'm kind of holding my breath. Did you hear me stop talking? When I go to those spaces that are right up along the edge, if you hold your breath, you get a pretty straight line. And so you could like put a bubble in your mouth and paint in and it'll get straight. Don't talk while you paint. Just sing. Singing in the rain. I'm singing in the... Wait a minute. Change the word. Modify. Singing in the paint. Just singing in the paint. What a wonderful day. I'm singing in the paint. Now, if you are a more advanced artist, you can add a next door neighbor color like orange and you can make some highlights and some low lights and give yourself same brush and give yourself a little bit of this blending and shading look if you look at the one that I did up there with Sherman that one took three hours maybe longer I don't remember but it is not a short painting today we're kind of on the short version but how fancy do you get it? That's up to you. Now, the reason I wanted to put my clothes on first, Sherman, is because I wanted um, to put his hair. His hair puffs out all over. If your dog is sh slick hair, like Boudreaux, Boudreaux is my neighbor's dog, his hair is short and slick. It may not poof out around his collar. You may not have a, a clothes on your dog. Um, you want to put basketball clothes on your dog, you do that. You Ballerina clothes, you do that. Now, I've got this color. I'm pretty happy here. I'm going to go to his nose. Now, Sherman's nose is a little pink. It's really not black. You decide what color you want it to be. I'm going to add pink. That's brown. I know. But I'm going to add a little pink with it. And do you notice how I'm not putting a whole lot of stuff on my plate? All my beautiful mixing is happening here because this is going to be important. I don't want to mix on my plate. I kind of try to stay like that. Occasionally, we stretch it out. But when you stretch it out, all you're doing is painting your plate. So paint here. So I'm going to scoop up a little. I've washed my brush out, by the way. Wash your brush, wash your brush, write your name in the bottom. Wash your brush, wash your brush, write your name in the bottom. Get it clean, get it clean, just like washing your hands. Put it in the water and not your mouth. Okay, here we go. Brown and pink. And I've got brown and pink to make his nose. Look how I mixed right there on the canvas. Brown and pink right there on his nose. I'm going to go ahead and use brown and pink, and I'm going to put in his eyes. They look like footballs. They're not, but they look like it, or leaves. Isn't it cute? 
And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in his mouth with brown and pink because I like it. And then if I want his nose pinker, I just add more pink. Sherman is adorable. So pink and brown make pink brown. That makes actually kind of a, let's check, a little skin color. Yeah, not bad. Could put it here and here. Don't face paint with this kind of paint. Folks, don't do it. It it's not good for your skin. Don't do it. You have to you have to get regular good face paint. Hopefully that day will come back so I can go back to that part. It'll be fun. Now, I've got orange and brown on my plate originally, orange and brown, and that's the color kind of for Sherman. I've got some orange and I've got some brown. And so when I go up here and I start to make orange and brown, I get the Sherman color. Sherman, come here. I need to show them what color you are. Shermie, are you sleeping? Get up. Come here, little Shermie. Come here, little Shermie. He says, I'm not coming to you. You have crummy treats. Come here, little Shermie. Do you see how I'm moving my brush? I hope you're watching. One, two, three. Eyes on me. One, two, eyes on you. Thank you. You're so good. I'm so glad you're here. You've been sitting so nicely and listening so well. Would you like to hang out with me? He does. He's going to hang out with me right here. Eep. He's going to hang out right here. And he's going to paint along with us. This will be fun. All right, so now I'm still painting with orange and brown. Orange and brown. And I'm not scrubbing. This is scrubbing. If you've got toilets, you can scrub those. But if you're painting fur, let's paint little shirt. Staying alive, staying alive. Ah, 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 ah. Staying alive, staying alive. Paint, 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 paint. Staying alive. Paint, 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 paint. Staying alive. Hey, do you see how... Some of that brown kind of stays in there with that orange. Um, if your dog is more black, you'll use more black. If your dog is white, you could use white. But you know what? A white dog on a white dog on a white dog. Let me tell you what you have to do. And I was thinking about um, Caleb today. And Caleb has a white dog named, uh, let me think. Not Alfred, but something like it. It's adorable. <sighs> I can't remember. Bad gummit. Samantha, tell me what it is. What's your dog's name? Well, it'll come to you. And he's all white. And I thought, well, what you would do is add a little gray to your white. And how do you make gray? Look how I'm letting the paint make that line right there. The paint, did you see it? The paint made it right there. Look, I'm just dabbing. Um, how do you make gray? Did you say black and white? You were correct. Look at Sherman. He's looking pretty dadgum precious. He's looking pretty dadgum precious. I love it. Sherman, come back. I'm out of grace. I mean, out of grace. <laughs> I'm out of brown. Squirt out usually just the size of a dime. Just the size of a dime. Come in here. All right, I made his nose maybe too big. So all I do is paint over it. Paint over the nose. Go to, get to some more orange down here. I'm painting over his mouth. Miss Gallery can't talk. In a few minutes, I will tell you what to do. Never panic. Panicking has its moments, but this isn't one of them. See how I'm letting that hair go over his clothes now just a little bit? That makes more sense. His little white eyes look scary, don't they? It's all right. It's a painting. It's a process. It's a process. I'm going to go down here a little further, and I could make him... Y'all didn't expect him to look this cute. I know you didn't. And that's what I'm saying about drawing and painting. It's the same thing. 
the longer you hang out in there, the more you paint, the more you do, the better it gets. Last night I, I drew something about, well, I couldn't sleep. So I drew, but then I painted, then I painted some more, and it's just cool to do that. I think I need to get more exercise. That will help me sleep. I'm going to get a lot of exercise because I've got that garden going on at my house. Well, not at my house, at my mom's house, at the farm. I'm liking it. Sherman, you're not cooperating. I'm going to have to send you to obedience school. Jana, when does your shop open back? Sherman's coming. Jana, my neighbor, she runs, um, not Popology, that's Janet. Jana has uh, action-packed dogs. Yeah, she trains dogs. It's amazing. Her dog is amazing. So now, I'm pretty happy with my Sherman, but I do want to go now and fix his eyes. Now, his eyes are black. But they also have almost exactly the same color as his fur for the iris. Look at my eyes. Okay, let's try this. Look at my eyes. Sherman, come here. I've got a black dot in the middle. Y'all see? And I've got blue and then white. If you do this part, you see the white, right? Well, Sherman doesn't have any of that white stuff showing, so I've got to get rid of that white. So I'm going to use my secret weapon, and I'm going to come in here. Here he comes. Hey, so girl, come here. I want to look at your eyes. I'm using my secret weapon. Those of you who have painted with me before know the secret weapon is the back end of the brush. It's nice and stiff. It keeps things in a little bit more control. And I'm going to paint in that whole thing black. Come here, sugar. Come here, I want to hold you. He thinks something's wrong. Come here, Sherm. Come here, Orangey's right here. Yeah, come here. Look, Orangey wants to play with you. Hi, 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 hi. No, come here. Okay. Here, is his, here is his eyes. Okay, everybody ready? One, two, three, eyes on me. One, two, eyes on you. Oh, thanks, Shermie, from the... From the background okay so you see how his hair has all kinds of colors Jeremy, you're a star you're an internet star he's so excited isn't he cute doesn't he look like that there is probably a lighter color on sherman compared to the painting that i did and you know how to get it lighter you know what sherman told me he said add white and that's true so, if your dog is too dark and you wish it was lighter, all you have to do is put a little dab of white on, get your brush, clean it out, go to the bottom. Wash, wash, wash it out, wash, wash, wash it out. Take it out and lick it. No, you don't. But wipe it off on a, on a cloth. Wipe it off. And then get your that white. And while this paint is wet... Watch this craziness. <gasps> it begins to blend. Oh my goodness. Now Sherman has that crazy hair. And it's getting more light brown. See, I didn't have to make it on the plate. Where am I making all my beautifulness happen? Mm -hmm. And I'm coming up around here. Look how it got lighter while it's going on. You know what I'm telling you? You can't make a mistake. If that's too bright, guess what color you'd add? You'd go back to the brown. Mm -hmm. So I could come in here and look. Aw, Termy! Termy is my baby! I love Termy. Termin. Termin! Termin! I should write a book and illustrate it. <gasps> write a book and illustrate it. What an idea. Now look, all that was just a little white. Just add it in. And doesn't that make a big difference? Ooh, some red got in there. That's all right. Ignore it. 
Ignore it, ignore it. it. You sometimes have to ignore it or you'll lose your patience. That's what we do. All right. Kind of liking it. Kind of digging it. Now, I can go back with my secret weapon and I can make that three... Right down here where his mouth is. Don't want it too big. If you don't have a secret weapon, what well, you do if you have a brush? You could use a Q-tip uh, or a toothpick. Or, crazy as it seems, dip your pencil in the paint and draw with that. What? You could give him little, if you want to add eyelashes. Oh, little eyelashes. Did you add eyelashes? You can. You want to add a little collar part right here. I just keep dipping it in my pencil in that paint. He's got his little name tag collar thing here. Aw, little Shermy. Isn't that adorable? He's getting cute. Now, your tool that you use for being really small, go ahead and wipe it off. Get it clean again. I've got a washcloth that I use to wash all my stuff off or to wipe it off. If it gets on there, it's going to stay. Um, it's a great exfoliant if you accidentally get one of your other washcloths. Just saying. Not that I know, but I do. Now, what color is do you want his eyes? You want his eyes brown. I want his eyes a little orange and a little brown. And I'm going to make, here is where the secret is. I am telling it on live TV. I can't believe I'm going to do it, but I am. Usually you have to come to my studio to learn this. But if you make a C, pretty big. If you make a C, just a nice C, get yourself a C. And you make a C with an alternating color, whatever color you decide. I used orange because his eyes are a little orange. I don't know if you notice that. You may have to get a little closer. You know, kind of pay attention what you're doing. And then wipe it off again and get a little dip of white and go in there and watch. <gasps> He's looking right at us. Oh my gosh, he is. I'm going to put a little white thing right along his nose because his nose is wet. That's that little shine. It's called a highlight. Now, I love that. I do think his mouth could use a little less black, but maybe your dog has mustache hair or your cat, whatever you're painting today. Aren't they adorable? Blue bonnet time. I sort of have room because my blue could go right over here where your plate is dry. If you have to get another plate, you could get another plate. Or you could go to one of the plates that you used the other day and you could use, because it's dry now. It's dry now. And so I just put in that same one. Then we're not wasting our plates and filling up the trash cans. Hey, is it recycle day tomorrow in my neighborhood? Somebody tell me. Text me. I can't remember. All right. And then put on a little blue. And I'm going to put on a little white. And now here's the craziness. You're going to have to go outside and look for it. But I'm going to add a little purple. Because the blue bonnets, each little blue bonnet is its own flower, which makes a seed. Some of ours were already making seeds today, Jamie. I saw it. And... That's a good sign. But um, they... If they're pollinated, they have a little kind of bright magenta fuchsia color. 
and uh, they're purple and they get darker right before they kind of wither off and make the seed inside. It's a good science lesson. I have said this before. An artist is a scientist. They have to play a lot of what if. What if. I don't know if y'all can see my blue bonnet picture. Y'all can't. I'll get it shortly. Um, but my blue bonnet. Wait. Everybody hold the phone. Can y'all see it? Are y'all starting to see the blue bonnet come through right over there somewhere? Everybody hold the phone. Can y'all see the blue bonnet yet? Oh, still can't. Yeah. Now you can. Now you can see that blue bonnet right over there. Good job. Good job. Good job. So that blue bonnet painting over there by the pandas right up here is um, a great way to make the blue bonnets. Now I've got these colors ready. I've got my blue bonnet colors. Do you know what a stamp is? A stamp is when you take something and you and you pick it up and it makes exactly that picture. Well, you're kind of using your brush as your stamp pad today. Remember that number eight? That we laid on the make an eight and go straight home, make an eight and go straight home, make an eight and go straight home to make a blue bonnet. It looks something like this. Make an eight and go straight home. Make an eight and go straight home. Make an eight and go straight home to make a little blue bonnet. Well, then after I got through that one, I got another little bit of blue and I go dab dab pick it up dab dab pick it up dab dab pick it up to make a blue bonnet okay so if you have markers you're going a make an eight and go straight home make an s and go straight home make an s and go straight home to make a blue bonnet. If you're painting, you're going make an eight and go straight home, make an eight and go straight home, make an eight and go straight home. Maybe make three or four, I don't know. And then you'll do it again. Make an eight and go straight home and make an eight and go straight home. Make an eight and go straight home. Ooh, I got some light on that, I like it. And make an eight and go straight home. And then get some light and go in and kind of tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it. Okay, maybe that's not the word. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, mash it, mash it, mash it, mash it, mash it, mash it, mash it. And if some of them are a little wackadoodle, well, blue bonnets do that. They don't grow really, really even. So you're doing the right thing if your blue bonnets are not even. I know. It sounds crazy. It is true. You go outside and you try to find two blue bonnets that are exactly the same. Try. You can do it, but it's not as easy. All right. Now, make an eight. I'm going to make a big one down here. Things that are closer to you get bigger. Make an eight and go straight home. Make an S and go straight home. Make an S and go straight home. Oh no, I'm running into that one. It's okay, they're called overlap. Make an eight and go straight home. Sing it loud. Make an eight and go straight home. 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 This is a big one. They're getting littler now as they go up. Make an eight and go straight home. I heard Orangey. <laughs> he was singing. Now, get your lighter blue. If you've got a lighter blue, and go back in there and maybe fill in some of those. Fill them in. Mash, 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 mash. Hey, you notice I haven't got to white yet. Mash, mash. If you did, that's all right. Mash, 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 mash. Make some blue bonnets. And I mashed them out here to the side too. Because I like to. Okay. And then, 
Don't wash. No. If you did, get it dirty again. Go get you the white and watch. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. Make the sound, it's extra. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. Mash, the harder you mash, they get bigger. But only put the big ones on the big ones, right? On the little ones. Look, I'm just going down a couple more and I'm using my brush to come down. Oh my goodness, isn't that adorable? Yes. Those are cute blue bonnets. I would keep going with my blue bonnets. I am gonna wash my brush. Wash your brush, go to the bottom, wash your brush, go to the bottom, wash your brush, go to the bottom, wash, 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 wash. Dry it out. Now, stems and such. I'm going to my green. Remember where I had the green earlier? I go back to that plate. I've got a darker green, and I'm going to add a little bit of blue beside it. Not much. Whee! Okay, I'm going to use that since it splattered over there. Do you see it splash? Blue does that. All of them do that, really. Be sure you shake your paint before you paint with it. Now, I'm going to put a little bit of green right here on there. I'm going to come down, and I'm holding it like a soldier. Remember I said in bed? Hold it like a soldier. And I'm going to go right up to the edge, and I'm going to draw a line down. I'm barely touching. Barely touching. Barely touching. Barely touching. I'm going to make weep, weep for his weep, weep for my leaves. Weep, 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 weep. I would put some more blue bonnets down here. I put some more up here. He's happy. He's in the blue bonnets. Maybe there's some purple flowers in there too, or pink, or Whatever color you want in the background around your, your um, animal is great. Whatever you've got going on. I'm going to make, press down, pick up. Press down, pick up. I'm going to try to get five of those in there. <gasps> Isn't that cute? And if they overlap, I will tell you they do. Go out there and look. Look in real life. Go see what's happening out there. Look how they're going across in front of them. Isn't that cute? If some of them don't have five, they only have four. That's fine. Look how I'm pulling it up. Push and pull. Push down and pull. Press down and pull. Aren't they cute? Y'all, I have had the best time today. We've been sitting here an hour. We may have to stretch. <gasps> this is adorable. Keep painting if you can. I want to play with you at on Monday, maybe, if we can make it happen. Things happen and we have to adjust and modify and deal with it. Sometimes that's just the way it is. We're trying out this home school thing. Some of us are better at it than others. Some of you are better at it than me. But together we're going to get through this. Do our best. That's all we're asking. And for heaven's sake, wash your hands. Oh, what did I lose that little blue over there for? Nothing yet, but if I drag a little snab of it, watch this. A little blue in there. Oh! I'm making some more leaves out here. I can make some more leaves and they've got a little blue in them down here. If I grab a little bit of my yellow, which I never put out. Oh yeah, I did at the very beginning. And I put out a little bit of yellow. I can come up here and make some more leaves. Look at this. Oh my goodness, he's got trees and, and grass growing back in here. 
you just put plenty of paint. Don't be skimpy. That's for something else. Skimpy. Let's put a lot. Put more back in here. Because the more you do, the better it looks. If you're exhausted, stop. Check back in a little while. And post, for heaven's sakes. Please, give me some feedback. I'm lonely. Give me some feedback and let me see what you painted today with me. Tell a friend. We'll try to paint some more. I like that. That area looks good. I'm going to do that all over. And then, remember I said that little bit of purple? I get my secret weapon. Last thing. Secret weapon. Right in here. In the purple. And I'm going to go make some of those dots. Okay, so it's not the last thing, but it's one of the last things. Make some of those purple knots. Not on every one of them. Not on every one, just randomly. Put some purple polka dots in me. That's the ones that have been pollinated. Learn that in your science class. Okay, now, I had a little black because sometimes there's a little black dot or two in there. Dot. Big shout out to those of you who hung with me the whole time. I am painting it away. If you're from Bolivia or Tennessee and you're calling me, I'm painting. I'll talk to y'all in a little while. Aren't they cute? This has been so fun. I'm going to stop so that you have a chance to stop too. I'm going to put it on the YouTube channel. I'm going to put it on the Facebook channel. And I'm going to put it on my website. My website. It goes to tomorrow night. Whoops, y'all come back. It goes tomorrow night there. Thank y'all so much. I enjoyed this. It was wonderful. And I hope to see you again. And um, Orange is running across the studio. And he's very excited to see you. And he loves the painting. Oh, he's kissing it. He is so hilarious. Now, do you have paint on you? You know what you have to do is wash your hands, right? Yes, I love them. Wash your hands. Yes. Thank you. It feels good. It feels good to be loved. I love you. Thank you for coming. Kiss him. Charm! Ray, go home! Love it.